So this lesson is about uh, your basic slap techniques uh, and how to practice them effectively. So to start off, um, I'm not going to be using a click track for this one. I'm going to actually be using a drum track because you want to be able to um, basically lock in with the drums, which is what uh, slap is all about. So say for the kick drum, you'll be using your thumb. And then for the snare drum, you'll be using your index or your uh, middle finger, which is like a, a pop. So you want to basically work uh, the foundations of that with a nice simple groove. So I'm going to just do something far, far here on the drums uh, that I have here, uh, which is just going to be like a kick, snare, kick, snare, nothing too uh, drastic on it. So kick, snare, kick, snare. And just work your chords. So obviously if you want to be able to build up on those kind of grooves you have to have the foundation set first so you want to be able to do the thumb and the pops very effectively with no overtones or any weird ringing issues and stuff like that. So just practice uh, doing that a lot and just doing scales helps as well uh, if you're trying to practice with your thumb and stuff like that. Just do like a major scale in G like... Until it's clear like that, like you're just playing it with your fingers where you have the muting very well done and it's not, uh, you're not getting any extra ringing that you don't want in there, un undesirable notes or whatever uh, to, to ruin the groove. So you want it nice and clear, no overtones at all. So uh, just work on that, uh, going across the strings, stuff like that. make it musical for yourself you know because uh, you know yourself if you're doing an exercise for too long and you you don't spice it up a little bit it becomes repetitive and boring so just play around with that play like whatever you want just mess around uh highly encouraged uh, another technique that i'm going to show you to do with basic slap is to bring in your left hand uh, as a percussive tool as well as muting. Uh, the left hand is extremely important for muting and slap but it's also great for percussives and adding in a few extra notes or a few extra dead notes I should say. Um, so I'll show you a basic uh, kind of example of that in E which is every slap bassist's uh, go-to key just because it's open and it's easy to add in loads of extra uh, kind of hits and stuff like that. So I'm just going to show you this without any drum track, right, just so you can hear it properly. You want to do a no, like this, and then you want to do a nice smack with your left hand. So you'll be going. And get that nice and steady at a nice slow tempo. I always say it's good to practice these things like very slow just to make sure that you actually have the technique down before you speed it up. You don't want to be jumping in too fast to these things before you start trying to play it fast. So get that nice and slow. And then when it's still nice and slow, try add in your uh, pops. So... Then you can try and bring it up a little bit. So like... Bring it up to speed then. <laughs> so 
that's obviously what the goal is to be able to do like Mark King type lines and be nice and fluid and have no hiccups in there so just that's all there is to that uh, technique is to just practice it slow and try and build it up that's all I was doing but I was doing it fast slight hiccup there but yeah you get the idea <laughs> anyway practice and uh, yeah I'll add in more techniques to the slap once I feel like those foundations are uh, kind of set in stone